By the way, they're still doing this uh, when they, they announce who's going to be on our show right after the last NBC program before the 11 o'clock news. A network announcer comes on and, and he makes a voiceover announcement, announcement and he'll tell you who's going to be on The Tonight Show and then he'll tell you who's going to be on our show. They, they still say that stay tuned then when Dave laughs it up with ah. whoever. And we're just sick of that. So let's, let's Bill, you did it last night. Yeah. Well, don't do it again. <laughs> Well, it's so stupid. They've been doing this since 1943 or something, and Dave laughs it up with whoever. Well, you need to give him something to substitute for that. What? To join Dave and his guests, so on and so forth. Dave laughs it up. It, it makes it sound like it's an American Legion convention or something. You need something, you know. You need something to Like, like Shriner is in an elevator goosing people, you know? It's... You do need Dave something. Laughs it up. You need something descriptive, though. No, Dave. you just say join Dave, Paul, Bill, and their guests, whomever, and then let the viewers. Dave grooves with Terry Gar. No. <laughs> and tonight, I think we got a terrific uh, program. It's Thursday night, so uh, this is the opportunity that we take each week. It's our way of saying thanks for your participation, your help, your cooperation, your support in the program. We answer on Thursday nights our voluminous viewer mail, and people say, "Dave, is this actual viewer mail?" And I say, "Hey, if it weren't, would I be able to do this?" And ladies and gentlemen, tonight, once again, to illustrate the principle of the pyramid of comedy, our own stage manager, Biff Henderson. Biff, come on out and begin the illustration of the principle of the pyramid of comedy. Letter number one. Letter number one, one of the building blocks in the pyramid. Thank you very much, Biff. Letter number one, we're, we're building that jumbo pyramid of comedy. Let's get right to it. Uh, dear Dave, I tape your show every night and then watch it the next morning about the same time the Today Show is on. Sometimes I am still half asleep and I can't tell the difference between your show and the Today Show. What clues can I look for to distinguish your show from the Today Show? Dan Gabby, West uh, Covina, California. Uh, well, Dan, there's only one difference I can think of. Nobody tapes the Today Show. <laughs> <laughs> It's only a joke. Biff Henderson with another building block in the pyramid of comedy. Letter number two. <laughs> Dear Dave, you seem to say a lot of cruel and cold things on your show. How about saying something nice and warm for once? Regards, Mark Beer, Middlebury College. Well, uh... All right, all right, I'll, I'll try, Mark. You know, it was, uh, it was awfully nice of you to, to write us this, this very lovely letter, Mark, and we certainly hope that we'll be hearing from you sometime in the very near future. Once again, thanks again, and, and please keep writing, okay? Letter number three. <laughs> uh, dear David, Johnny Carson always makes fun of Ed McMahon's drinking. Is there something that Paul does that you can make fun of? Your biggest fan, Mike Clarici, Napa, California. Uh, yeah, you know, I didn't really want to get into it. Uh, there is something that I could make fun of. It's obvious. Uh, I just choose to ignore it and... and We'll just let it go at that, but well, thanks for uh, it. Uh, no, that's all right, you know. It's okay. What, what, you know, what is, Let's see, whatever it is, it's here? obvious, you know, it doesn't matter to me. Oh, okay. I, well, no, it's, it's a yeah. little embarrassing, that's all, Paul. No, it's, I know what it is. It's, it's Naomi Jane, isn't it? Yeah, as a matter of fact, it is. It's well, Naomi Jane. Let me tell you something. Adopting Naomi Jane was the smartest thing I ever did, David Letterman. All right. And if you ever make fun of her in front of all these people again, I'm out of here. Okay, Paul. All right. Thank you. For, I'm please, history. please forgive me. I'm, I'm awfully sorry. I'm awfully sorry. All right. It's all right, Naomi. <laughs> all right. Let's get on with the next letter, shall we? I'm sorry, Paul. It's all right, sorry. Naomi. Jane. Naomi's upset now. <laughs> what do we have there, Biff? Oh, letter number four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, letter number four. 
Dear Dave, how do you keep your eyes off some of the big knockers that have been on the show? A spectator, Stephen G. Crawford, Hinsdale, Illinois. Stephen, Stephen, Stephen. Have you looked at a calendar lately, Stephen? It's 1986. Aren't we past the point of judging a woman by the size of her headlights? You know, Stephen, women are a lot more than just a pair of canteens, so believe me, take it from somebody who knows that it's just about time for a music cue. There we go. It's the chairman of the board of NBC and the chief executive officer, Mr. Grant Tinker. Grant, nice to see you tonight, sir. How are you? Thank you for coming by. Tom, for that little speech you just made about women's mazoopas, <laughs> it's my privilege it's not to be mazoopas. Try it again. Mazambas. 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 Mazoopas. <laughs> Maybe you should be helping Biff is what you should be doing. <laughs> Okay, let's it's go. my privilege to present to you with this Humanitas Award. Uh, oh, thank you very much. That's very kind Your of courageous you. insistence that the size of a woman's brain is more important than the size of a hooters is a major step <laughs> forward in bringing the, bridging the gap between the sexes. Okay, thank you. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much. And you folks at home, be sure and watch the Today Show tomorrow morning when Jane Pauley laughs it up with Mel Carter. <laughs> thank you very much, Grant. I understand you're retiring next summer. <laughs> Oh, got it. It's a magic night for America, isn't it? Uh, uh, letter number five. Thank you very much, Vic. Nice job. Thank you very much. Vic, Vic what, what, have, uh, what have we helped to illustrate here tonight? The pyramids are heavy. No. <laughs> <laughs> For what? Were, 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 there, were there many pharaohs named Biff? <laughs> oh. I think so, Dave. Okay, Biff. Thank you very much. All right. Nice working with you. <laughs> Pleasure, Dave. Yeah. Letter number five. Ten women of the Woodcrest Women's League of Cherry Hill, New Jersey, will be in New York City on May 21st and would very much enjoy seeing your show, Phyllis Levy, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Oh, brother, you, uh, you ladies have a lot of nerve asking to come here again after what happened last time. Whoa, whoa. You remember, Paul, the night the women from Cherry Hill, New Jersey were here? We could keep this up for hours, Edie claims, but the National Guard won't let us. <laughs> hey, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, ladies, ladies. You know, we went to a lot of trouble to reserve a block of seats for you folks from New Jersey. Now, the least you can do is not spoil the show for the rest of us, okay? Ted Nugent! Oh. Ted Nugent! You now, wait a minute. You knew Ted Nugent was not on the show. He's never been booked for tonight's show. This was explained to you in the line. Oh, now that does it. Security. Look, get these people from Cherry Hills out of here. Come on, hey! Wait a minute. So you see, it would be stupid to have these folks back. We got a great show. Tony Randall is here from National Public Radio. Kim Williams is here. Richard Belzer and David Sanborn with our fine band tonight. Come on back, folks. We'll have a fun time.